The Colorado School for Deaf and Blind celebrated its 150th anniversary this past Monday. Students and faculty are also celebrating and honoring Deaf History Month this April and throughout art and performance to highlight deaf, deaf culture. 11 News reporter Rebecca Vosden is here with us in the studio. Rebecca, you talked to a student and teacher from the school on what they're doing this month. Rochelle, an art teacher at the school, told me hearing people are from the planet Earth because the word ear is in Earth. On the other hand, she told me deaf people are born on the planet Ith due to the eyes being their way of experiencing and communicating through life. When talking about ASL and deaf culture, the eyes and the hands as well are included in several pieces of artwork. To bring awareness to this month of deaf culture, Rochelle, who also teaches drama, is currently writing a screenplay called Alice in Deafland. The story follows Alice, who's been homeschooled all her life and falls down the rabbit hole meeting various deaf people for the first time. Rochelle hopes the people who see this play will learn an important message. Often deaf children 90% of the time are born to hearing families and more than 80% of those families do not learn to sign and I think it's just important to show Alice and her journey through that kind of process and she learns advocacy skills in deaf land so she can stand up for herself. An eighth grader at the school, Danya, submitted her artwork to a Davia art competition. Davia stands for Deaf View Image Art, where she did an art piece on a dog that was inspired by deaf artist Chuck Baird. She uses ASL within her image. The D is the ear, the O on the forehead, the G is the ear as well, the other ear, so I'm really hoping to win the competition. Teacher Rochelle hopes that people are inspired from her play and go out there in the community and learn ASL. The school overall hopes that through their showcasing of art and performance that the community will take in and appreciate deaf culture. Reporting live in studio, I'm Rebecca Gavazdin. Back to you, Kayla. Wow, that was a cool experience, Rebecca. Thank you so much.